In a world where bigger is considered better, is it really? In this video, we're showing you the QQ ice cream. We'll have a walk around, take a look inside, and see how it feels to sit on the first row as well as on the second row. And we get to drive it as well. Because this car runs on batteries, we also have Sir Vic Enrica, the owner of the car, to answer some questions we have regarding range anxiety, daily use, and if you're interested, how will you own one? Join me in this video to know more about the small yet capable EV. Hi guys, my name is Don and I am not a pro driver. Today is a very special video because here we have the Cherry QQ and it's very cute cute. And I also want to thank Sir Vic and Driga for providing this car so that we could walk around it, test drive it. All right, so here at the front, we have the headlights. You would see that these headlights, they are like smiling in some way. So both of them, they are LEDs. Sorry, DRLs. We have DRLs, not the headlights. The headlights are at the middle. And then we have here on the bottom of, well, this part of the bumper, a placeholder for, it could be fog lights, right? Here, we don't have the badge yet. Under this, this is where you get to see the charging port here. So this is what the charging port looks like. All right, so if we go over to this side, then we have one of the uh, lights for signals. And then here we have the wheels. It, it's, uh, it's a 12 inch wheels. They're quite small and cute, always cute. So here at the back, we have your QQ badge here. And then we also have the same shape from the headlights. And then we have here at the bottom, we have your rear fog lamps. So this is white and that's red. So they're not the same. These are your screws for your plate holder. At the top, we have the camera. I'll show you how that works later on. And then we have some sensors here as well on both sides. So here at the top, you would also see some brake light. And then here at the top, we have one single antenna. This is like the uh, traditional one. So to open the trunk, there's a button. There we go. And then you lift it up. So it's not power, but it looks like it's power. It has this mechanism that helps you you know, I mean, it's not that heavy though. There's this thing, if you open this up, yeah, so like an emergency latch thing. These are the seats for the second row and they're folded down at the moment. And this is how, this is the configuration if you want to go, you know, groceries, shopping. And then you also have your additional space here for your tools. So we have the chargers. Yeah, you could set the chargers there. So these are the back seats now that are raised. Okay. These are the release locks. So those are the locks. So just make sure that these things doesn't interfere. You know, the strap for the seat belt doesn't interfere with this. There we go. All right. Now here is your space for when this is raised up, but it can hold most of your charging stuff, small jack and some tools. This is enough space for that. All right. So yeah, that's it. Now when you close it, yeah, there is no handle somewhere here. So the only way that you can really open this is from the inside. Now let's discuss interior. I like the height of this. This is enough. Surprisingly, I'm not complaining about this. It feels almost like the third row of the Tiguan e Pro, but it's more comfortable. I mean, this, they really did create, you know, yeah, this is comfortable. I, I, I can see myself sitting here for a long drive. So here on the interior, by the way, you would see the design. They sort of thought about it because they have these stitching that is purple. And then here we also have this light purple. This depends though on what color of the car is. Behind here, you would have some like phone holders here on both sides. So you would have one here and then you would have one here. Now, what does it feel like if I'm going to be putting on my seatbelt? All right, so if I put this on, yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> All right, let's go into the front row. From here, you would adjust this using this. It's the uh, traditional way of doing things. And then you have this metal bar. So that's all the uh, adjustments for the seat. They have the purple theme here with the purple stitching. It's not adjustable, but it's okay because I like this racing effect here. For what it is, it's really enough. It's okay. Yeah. I haven't sat on a lot of seats, but I can consider this like racing seats. <laughs> It is quite spacious. There is no way to adjust the steering wheel from here. By the way, we have a key. So this is the uh, ignition. We still have the ignition. So this is what the key looks like. So lock, open the trunk, and then unlock. All right. And then you have this 
effect <laughs> uh, that clips up. From the interior, you could see that this is, they're following this cute design, right? Uh, from the purple theme all throughout the car, even the handles here, I forgot to mention that. Here on the handles, we have here on the side of these knobs, here on the, um, yeah, we have some purple plate here, as well as the holder, even for here. Okay, so let me put my phone here. Yeah, that fits, that should fit. Right, there we go. That's now my infotainment system. <laughs> That's awesome, all right? That's oh, and uh, I believe this should be here, so that it should be in this orientation because my port for the charging is here, and you would find a USB charger right here. So you would just, you know, charge your phone here, all right? And then here's the hazard, right? Yep. And here's the lock. Yeah, that's a lock. What's this? Oh, this is eco and sport. So you can see here on the um, cluster. So here is when I press this, it's eco. And then if I press this again, the same button, you would see sport. See, sport. Okay, let me try that again. Here's eco and then sport. Awesome. Uh, here we have controls, by the way, for where the vents are. So here it's just in our face, right? And then we have uh, both in our face and in somewhere here. Oh yeah, there is. Yeah, there is some vents here at the bottom and then just here at the bottom. And then here we have vents here at the top as well. Yeah, you could feel that there. And then that's that's the um, vents on here and on the bottom, but it's minimal. Yeah, you can barely feel that here, but it, it's there. And then we have here just this one on the uh, on top of the dash. Let's put that back here. Right. Here on the steering wheel, we have controls. So here on the left side, you would see if I tap on that. Oh yeah, it's a toggle for the radio. So we have AM, FM, right? And then, yeah, you could s dial the uh, station here. So if I press this up, 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 it changes. And then if I press the uh, radio button again, we have iCar. I guess this is for the Bluetooth when you connect your phone to Bluetooth, right? So yeah, we were now able to connect this, this one from here. So if I tap on this and play, yeah, that's it. All right. All right, so that's it. So we can, so it says here, Lush Life. What's Lush Life? Ah, okay, so it's playing the cur... So it's saying here, yeah, this is this is the song. All right. So that's uh, that's what's playing here right now. So that's smart enough to know which song I'm playing. Speaking of sounds, let me try that again. Where are the speakers coming from? Is this? It's really good. Oh, here, uh, on both sides though. So so there is one on each door. And they're really not bad, to be honest. So here are the controls. We have your signal, this one. So that's signaling left. Oh, sorry, right. Then here's left. And then we have high beams. This is park light and then headlight. And then here's high beam. So you can see you have some indicators as well on the uh, dash, on your cluster, sorry. On the right side, so we have off and then intermittent and then low, and then we have high, right? On the center, so we would have your traditional handbrake, right? We have the seat belt here on both sides. You have like a, can we open this? No, I can't pry it out, but it, it looks like some, you know, where you put coins and whatnot. Uh, here is your shifter. So that's um, cute, <laughs> it's still cute. <laughs> Right? Uh, we have, um, again, purple accents. You could find the purple accents here. And then here's what's interesting. So usually you would find these on door handles, but here you find it here on the center console. So if I press this down, what? <laughs> then is it automatic? No. No, it's not. All right. But it goes down all the way. If I press it down, automatic. It's not automatic going up. It's, uh, yeah, it's not, uh, but it can go down automatically, all the way down automatically. If I press, you know, so there's this um, one level and then all the way down, it's 
automatic. Cool. Below that, we have, you know, your cup holder. It's just one. And then this is what's cool about it, to be honest. I find this, I don't know. It's、um, maybe it's the first time I've seen something like this. You don't have this compartment here at the, in the middle or like a divider, right? And then we have here, supposedly it's like a glove box, but we have a net and there's nothing to open this. Ah, okay. So we have like a bag hook here. So you can hide that. So here is an additional like storage for, I don't know, papers like this one,、uh, slips, wallets. Almost forgot to mention that. Okay, here we have. Your visors, right? There, it's we don't have um like a vanity mirror here, but you can, it looks like, yeah, you can move it sideways if the sun is on the side, right?、Uh, lights here, yeah, we have on, off, and then we have the door. So if the door opens, unlock, yeah, there we go, okay? Yeah, we have another visor here, and again, there is no vanity mirror, but here we have. Something you can put on, like your cards. Here you have your mirror that is adjustable in that way. No handles here. We have a handle on the passenger side. On the second row, we don't have those. So it's plus and minus. It's actually my first time seeing this in person. And it kind of makes sense because it increases your speed and it decreases your speed. And it looks like a toy, right? It's cute. <laughs> Yeah, everything about this car is adorably cute. QQ. All right.、Uh, another thing I forgot to mention on the doors, there's a lot of storage or shelves. So we have here, this is dedicated for your cup holder, like here, our bottle holder. And then we have shelves or pockets here, and then another pocket here. By the way, everything here is plastic.、Uh, it's, but it doesn't look like that. It's gonna break. At the rear, you have the left side. So, this is the button for that. And then, this is for the reverse. Okay, so this is the brake light. This is signal. And th this is going right. All right. And then, this is hazard. Off. And then, we have park light. And then, we have low beam. Right. And then this is high beam. There we go. This is signal. This is going left. This is going right. Okay. And then this is hazard. All right. So、uh, hopefully I can get this in POV really nice. All right. So, first, as always, you release the handbrake. And then we put in drive. There we go. And then I'll just release the brake. Okay, so you're hearing that beep right now. That's because I haven't gotten my seatbelt on. Let me put the seatbelt. All right, here we go. This is so nice. So technically, the only. Oh, it auto locks as well, guys. All right, so there we go. Okay, so it's. A, this is so nice. First EV drive. Oops, I, I think I should be going this way now. So, okay, so to be honest, the, the steering is. Oh, that's, that's refreshing. I didn't have to reverse. Okay, because. All right, so here the acceleration is. There is no gear. There is no. You don't feel any transmission. Like, well, it's an EV. It's all. All in EV. Right now I'm running at 40. All right, 41. And it's. So I, I'm just gonna make a turn. Hold on. This is actually nice. The、um, steering is a bit heavy though for my taste.、Uh, or I was just used to something lighter, but it's not. It's. it's It's actually nice. You have these grips right here. The steering, I'm g o n n a put it to the max. 50, 60, okay. Then decrease speed. This is awesome! 
Okay, so it's a little bumpy, especially on a road like this. It's something that you know that you will... Ex it, it, you know, it's something that you wouldn't expect much and still you're enjoying. You know that? First time placing my foot on the pedal of an EV. I would say this is definitely in the right direction. This is... It's just... It's the way of the future. <laughs> it, it's... Uh, it's I don't know how wh why I'm so happy with this, but I, I am enjoying sitting here. It's a different experience, all right? Knowing that you're not consuming gas. So, okay, so I'll, I'm going to take this in reverse, and you can see we have a camera. Ta -da! Look at that. Oh, okay, so it's not changing, like predicting where I'm going. So if I release the brake, all right, there we go. And you can hear some sound. Is that the sound coming from? I don't know if you can hear that. There's a beep that's warning me that there is, oh, or, or warning other people. I guess it should be warning other people that I'm reversing. So that is a nice touch. When you're driving this car, even at slow speeds, it feels fast. <laughs> By the way, the maximum speed of this is 100 kilometers per hour. That's the maximum speed. It's not fast charging. The charging time is like eight hours. If you want your charging to be faster, the owner of this car actually provides chargers. So here, I'll show you the charging cable that it comes with. Okay, so this is the charger. This is how it looks like. Uh, so this is what you plug in to the wall. And then this is your charger that you plug in at the front of the car. Right, so this is how the charger looks like, and it has this brick, so it's like your laptop chargers, and yeah, and it fits at the back at least. And of course, if you're at the mall, this is what you use, right? Uh, oh, by the way, this doesn't come with a car, this comes if you want something like this. Uh, you could I'll put the links in the description below where you could find Cervic. This is what you plug into, let's say, you know, the charging stations. And then this is what you plug into the car. So it's, yeah, it's just an adapter. This is Sir Vic Andriga. Thank you so much, sir, for you lending your car to show everybody what the QQ ice cream is. Mm. I just wanted to know, what is the total range mm. for the car? Yeah, so for this uh, model, the ice cream sundae, it's rated at 170. So give or take, I'll give it at around 150 siguro. Mm -hmm. I, I just wanted to be safe. So, okay. Yeah, no, mga 150. Although I haven't taken it that far. No? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, actually, I've only read it, uh, driven it, you know, city roads pa lang. Or okay. actually, dito nga lang sa community namin. Mm -hmm. kasi, uh, we're still working on the papers, you know. So it's still not, you know, road legal to say, you know. But I've just, I've just driven it, you know, to go to the mall mm -hmm. closest to our house para mag-charge, para makalibre. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. I, I just wanted to know if, um, who do you think is this car for? If um, Why would you want to buy a car like this? I mean, there are other EVs out there. Yeah. So actually, no, yung backstory nito, um, last year pa, no, January, we were planning to bring the foam, no, yung first one mobility no it's a japanese brand mm. uh, it, the, the talks just didn't push through no but it was around this size then no? yung and then when the wool i saw the wooling interest in the philippines sabi ko sige why don't we bring it in also no tapos um yun nga um pero yung market nito um ako personally you know if i for trips you know short city trips yeah. lang no yeah. Kanyari, if i I bring my kids to uh, school, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. some errands, to the grocery or whatever. Then this would fit, no? Um, okay na siya kasi at 120 kilometers, I can mm -hmm. even go to Alabang from Quezon City. Right. No? So, right. And go back with uh, healthy, you know. No? So, um, yun. Actually, yung, yung the lowest I've gone with this, I got this when we drove this out sa, sa Pierre, you know? It was at 20, 20%. Oh! Uh, oh, oh, no? Kasi okay. nga, it was there for some time. So, 20%. Na ano pa no? Mabot pa ang trinoma mm -hmm. no? to have it charged. No? So, uh, kaya naman no? at that time mga 30 kilometers yung range na lang niya. No? So hindi di pa naman siya nagwa warning pero uh, I can feel the ano no yung yung power. Gusto mo tulo na. So medyo kinakabahan na talaga ako no? at that time. Pero yun the market is yun nga no mga you know if you you have errands in, in within the city yung mga ganun. or even for new drivers. 
Um, yes. Yun, no? yes. I, yun nga, yun, I was talking to my son, ano, who's going to go, going to senior high soon. Parang, it, it might be the perfect car for him kasi kung malapit lang naman yung school. And yun nga, no, medyo, I, I, we all know in the Philippines, may range anxiety pa rin. No? Na, uh, kasi although there are chargers popping up, hindi pa rin siya ganun kadami compared mm-hmm. to gas. Ano? So if I, I'm a parent, you know, mas uh, panatang yung loob ko na hindi lalayo yung anak ko. Uh, dahil, I know, the farthest you'll go is 100 kilometers, 150. Mahahabol ko pa siya. So, you know. Okay. So, for parents? Yeah, no? Maganda siya for a driver. Kasi, you know, it, um, from safety, ano naman, standpoint, okay din naman. May, may airbags din siya. Mm-hmm. No? Although, I think sa passenger, wala. Ano? But, you know, it's still safe car. Kung yan eh, yung hindi naman iya highway drive din naman although uh, road legal siya sa expressway you know, pero kunya right from here to school and going back mm-hmm. not bad yung charge mo good for the week na siguro yung right. 170 right. kilometers so c- c- can you say that this car is because i'm thinking of if i was to have space mm-hmm. in our house i would really want to have a cherry qq mm-hmm. ice cream because I can see myself not driving the uh, Tigo 8 Pro all the time, mm-hmm. right? I, I mean, there are times that you are within the village, you want to buy, let's say, just a ba- bunch of fruits, mm-hmm. yeah. something like yeah. that, uh, small errands, right? It's a, This is the perfect car. I can see mm-hmm. myself driving this. Yeah. It's not a hassle to find parking. Yeah. No. So, <laughs> yun nga eh. Um, actually, like two weeks ago, we went to uh maginhawa no mag dinner lang kami no sabi ko i can park na pa sideways yung parang di ba the idea of the smart car dati na hindi mo kailangan siya i-parallel park pag ganto yung parking <laughs> yan no kasi hirap na hirap din ako magpark and we we brought the van nung time mm-hmm. na yun sabi ko imagine if i brought the ice cream car to to maginhawa ang bilis ng parking ko no okay. and yun nga uh, it's in it's also you know head turner pa siya ngayon kasi konti pa lang siya mm-hmm. so so can, can we say that it's also a good fit for mm-hmm. people that doesn't have this as a second, because I'm thinking of this as a secondary, secondary car. car yeah. But for those who are really looking for a compact EV, mm-hmm. is this a good, do you think, a good, really good primary car or daily driver? Yeah, ako, um, primarily, yung intent ko rin naman, ano, um, you know, when this becomes road legal, ano, when I have the paper sorted out, this will be my daily driver to the office. Um, yeah. Kasi, um, well, madali lang. May charger dun sa mall na tabi ng office ko. Okay. No? So, um, and it's very convenient. Tapos, yun nga, with, well, ngayon, well, mas mura pa siya. Mura talaga yung charging, you know, electricity compared to yes. the cost of gasoline. Pero, additional bonus pa yung libre yung charge. You have recharging in the malls at the moment. Ano? So, it's a big bonus. So, yun nga, no? I Although I don't go to the office daily, I plan to this to be our daily driver, no? even to bring the kids to school. Mm-hmm. No? Uh, para lang um, practical, you know, uh, and you don't have to bring a big car around. So, yeah. And uh, on top of the perks of having this like um, fuel efficient, yeah. right? Uh, a car cost effective, you also have the uh, Exemption. Exemption from coding if it's yeah. uh, from the color coding scheme here in the Philippines at least. Mm-hmm. So that's a, one of yeah, the no, biggest like, perks of having like a daily drive. Na siya. Hindi na siya, right. you know, hindi siya four times a week. Uh, how do we get this? Uh, how, yeah. how do we get this here? Because we know Cherry doesn't Very offer good. this yet. Yeah. So right now, we're we're a gray market importer. No? We import it here in the Philippines. So you can reach out to our, I don't know, um, messages in our Facebook page, no? Supercharged Motors. Um, so, and somebody will, um, our staff will be um, helping you out no? with the order process. No? We'll um, give or take mga 30, 45 days nandito na yan no? from, from our, our partners in China. Other than bringing this model, actually, we're open to importing any EV, a- any EV brand from, from China. No? Um, we have our partners also in China who, you know, who, who can bring it in for us, no, and we'll help you with the paperwork. It's a very tedious process, so it's better that you leave it to us, no. We'll just, uh, no, uh, on top, you know, a, a small service fee. Um, other than importing the EVs, we just focus primarily on EVs, no. Um, other than that, we offer chargers, no. If you have, if you want wall chargers for your home, if you, um, you know, if 
other than this, we have uh, a cherry van. No? Uh, it's a 6-meter, 21-seater van. No? It's parang, it's a mini bus talaga. Uh, we have a charger for that also. All chargers, you know, from the standard AC charger. I think you showed it kanina. No? Yeah. Level 1. We offer the level 2, which is the 7 kilowatt chargers. And we offer the big DC chargers if you also require it. No? So we have those. Um, service, meron na rin kaming mga... We have partners na already who can handle the servicing of the batteries. At least ngayon, replacement pa lang. Ano? So kung may mga sira yung battery, well, sa swap na lang natin. Ano? But in the future, we plan to you know, uh, train ourselves also on servicing na yung mga EVs. Kasi this is the way of the future na rin. Way of the future. Mm-mm. There are a lot of Cherry fans out there. And this is one that will not disappoint. This ice cream model. This is the Sunday variant, by the way. Again, all the details will be in yeah. Cervix uh, Facebook. Uh, yeah. We'll link it to the description yeah. below. We're launching siguro a few weeks. You know, in two weeks. Yeah. We're just finalizing wow. some of the costing. Pa kasi there's some debate. Pa, no? uh, we want to finish the costing. Na kasi there are a lot of inquiries. Na rin naman, but, you know. That's I, yeah. Yeah. So the interest is there, yeah. and uh, if you need a person to talk to, Servic is the guy. All right. Again, guys, thank you, thank you so much. Hanggang sa ulitin, kita kids.